Hey David, the uh, the cost of video cards has been a little ridiculous. Over yes, the Greg. Last <laughs> yes. <laughs> cost of video cards has been a little ridiculous over the last year or so. Because oh, of, I know where you're going with of, this one. Because of crypto stuff. Am I ever going to be able to buy a new video card without having to mortgage my house? Yes. Again? Yes. Again? <laughs> it's the markets. Um, and they're very volatile. Uh, we are definitely not saying that you should be doing any of this. But uh, cryptocurrency mining is shifting and kind of goes with the trends of what the current prices are at. And they're kind of going down right now. <laughs> and who knows, even when I'm saying this video and when we publish it, it might be different, but, but video cards were very big, especially with Ethereum mining because they're GPU based. Right, because so, the so, so, the Ethereum, so Ethereum and a bunch of the altcoins. Yes. Because most of the altcoins were all, they were all spun off of Litecoin and, and some of those, A lot of right? them are derivatives. And so their derivatives of those are all GPU based, yep. but most of them are, they're not worth anything. There's a, there's a small number. Yeah. And then the really high value coins like Bitcoin, you can't do with video cards. No, you, you need to have a, an ASIC, they a, call you it. You need an ASIC miner. Which is and, a dedicated. And the cost of dedicated. doing that for the average ridiculous. mo now is you ridiculous. Um, is, is Ethereum still driving sales of, of GPUs? Or oh, is yeah. that changing too? Oh, it still is, but there's a big thing. And again, I don't want to get into uh, whatever, but there's a thing called the proof of stake, which is happening, um, which is where Ethereum is going to suddenly change and move away from being tied to mining. That's It's coming, but it's not here yet. Gotcha. And so GPUs are still being used. And the funny thing is a lot of the manufacturers who make video cards are running mining on them until the day that they literally ship them out. They take them out and then they send them off. Like, it's pretty funny. <laughs> now, now, that's not to say, you know, we're, we're not suggesting one way or another that the crypto is good, bad, you should, you shouldn't. No, nope. that's not. I'm more interested in the impact to the, to the PC market. You're from, gonna see a lot of video money. cards that are going to suddenly be available on the market, if not soon. And cheap. And they'll be less expensive because they're used. What do, yeah, I was gonna say, is this is, is this the you know the Kijiji eBay yeah, yeah. Uh, marketplace market for video cards? It is, is that gonna open up soon? Do you think? And what the concern is is when it's a used video card that's kind of high end. <laughs> the concern is if they've run it too Worked hard, hard and put away hot overclocking, <laughs> where they oh yeah they've basically changed it beyond what the manufacturer specs are and pushed it too hard. Okay, so when these Ran cards do hot. come up in the next six months, year, whatever, uh, buyer beware. Buyer beware, yeah. Buyer beware, okay. But this, uh, no, this is another video. Okay, well then, right there. then we're gonna cut it right there and you'll see it in the next video. Give us a thumbs up, <laughs> hit the subscribe button, we'll see you again. Cheers.